Hi guys, welcome to um, vlog. What an intro. Today, Samantha thinks she's going to fix her car. Hi Shay. Hi vlog. Messy hair. Someone just woke up. Someone just woke up. Sweaty thing. Surfer dude. Surfer dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wave to dad? Wave. Say hi. Say hi. Here you go. Look at you. Pumping your car. 50 bucks. Holy break. Welcome to the Mac Shack. Welcome to... Ice We had a hard day today in Fredericton. I heard somebody scream. Not too longer after that, more shots started ringing out. A witness describes what he heard during that deadly shooting in Fredericton this morning. Gunfire rang out at an apartment complex shortly after 7 a.m. It went on for over an hour. Something that forever remember and uh, we're praying for Fredericton and we're Fredericton strong. Today was a really hard day for our city. On my way to work this morning at 8 a.m. I was driving and I was going to take the highway, but I noticed there were cop cars and a few ambulances driving on the highway, so I decided, I decided to not go that way and go straight instead. A city of 60 to 70,000 people at its urban core. Uh, it's a peaceful place, a quiet place. Uh, people live here because it is quiet, uh, and to have something like this happen really shatters that illusion in a sense. Uh, these events can take place anywhere and today uh, residents here are trying to make some sense of that in the absence of, of further information. Later found out when I got to work that there was a shooter in Fredericton and um, everything was on lockdown and this is a very scary moment. Our city came together, prayed together and um, it's going to be a day that everyone remembers and won't forget. I will always think of the families that were affected by this. August 10th, 2018. Fredericton Strong. We came together as a city. So thanks for watching guys. That's it for our vlog tonight. Our next vlog will be much happier. <laughs>